Hello, my name's Linda. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I'm making a card for the Ink Stamp Share Blog Hop and the theme today is Celebration. Well, both of these stamp sets are available with Celebration, so you spend £45, you get to choose a free item and I'm going to be using um, the frock here, the little flies and the little butterfly and the crown off of this one and then on the other one I'm using the Celebrate Your Day sentiment so I'm also using some of this lovely paper this is the botanical butterfly DSP and I'm going to be using the stripy side today I've cut out um, a A4 so this is half of a sheet of A4 and I've scored it and I'm going to be sticking this on here sort of in the middle there and I'm going to do that now why not let's get sticking this is a really simple card um, and I've, I've actually made it with a man in mind but I think you could probably use it either way okay so that's nice and simple I just stuck that actually I've just cut that a tiny bit smaller and then I have my my little frog so let's come in so I've already coloured him in so I started doing this and decided I was going to make a video so I've used um, this is not in celebration but these are the new um, I can't remember what they're called but they're all lovely hearts hearts and this also I've used this little edge which is really pretty I can't even remember which heart I use now Was it this one must have been must have been this one they're in a bit of a muddle aren't they so I've just cut that out of Whisper White and I've um, stamped my frog and my little flies and then I've coloured him in using the blends and I've used the Old Olive, Pool Party and some of the grey and I've just put a little shadow there so he's got somewhere to stand oh, and I used ivory for his tummy and then I've cut out a piece of um, Granny Apple Green and that is um, to fit this this is um, 10 centimeters across and I've cut my granny apple green to fit there and I've also cut a piece of the basic black and then I've used that little edge in that I showed you just a moment ago which I've lost here it is and I've just cut I've die cut that so it's got a little edge to it and then that goes in there so what I actually did was I cut this piece first this is about one and a half inches and then I cut a, piece, a strip of black that was bigger and then then I die cut so I knew what size I was going to be using and so I'm just it's very very quick and easy and I'm just going to put this here and I'm going to put my my frog there so let's stick this together I'll put my granny apple green to my black first If you, I don't know if you can see I've got some little stitches along the edge of my granny apple green there and all I did was use one of the um, new rectangle dies and I just laid it across across my piece of cardstock just to just to give it a little edge because the um, heart had a little stitched edge I wanted that to have an edge as well I wanted it to be a little bit matchy matchy okay so my heart I want my heart about there, so I want my cardstock about here. So I'm just going to stick that down, and I think I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back here. Why not? I've used some thick whisper white for my heart, but um, the normal whisper white would work as well. So don't forget celebration it's really good time at stamping up starts in january ends the end of march 45 pound order you'll receive something from the celebration catalogue of your choice and also it's the perfect time to join um to join stamping up so if you want to come and join my team i'd love to have you you get 170 pounds worth of product for 99 pound at the moment I oh, joined during celebration, not this one, a couple of years ago. Okay, now let's come out just a tiny bit. And that is the front of my card. And now on the inside, um, no, I'll just put that to one side so I can do some stamping. I've got a piece of whisper wire and I've cut the um, the largest 
rectangle and it isn't quite big enough to go in to fit to fit in but I still like it I'm going to put it in the middle there I still like the effect it gives I think it looks quite neat so I'm going to do a bit of stamping I need to bring in my piercing mat there and I'm going to be using the little butterfly and I'm going to have that down there in the corner and I've lost my and so I'm also using the celebrate your day and this one was from the cupcake I can't remember what that one's called hello cupcake stamp set there we go and then I have the tiny little crown and I want to put that above above there a little bit crooked could have been a bit straighter it's always hard to stamp when um, you've got the camera above you. You can't get your head in the way. Okay, and so then I'm going to put that in there. I mean, actually, it would have been nice to maybe um, emboss the crown in silver or gold. So I'm just going to stick this in, and then my card will be finished. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed watching um, this little short little video, it's very short um, and don't forget to hop along with the Ink Stamp Share blog hop, there'll be some fantastic projects because there always are and uh, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe, thanks for watching, bye.